big gulps, huh? Of living the life. What is all the equipment? Game changer. Lost my shirt and my shorts. Nobody saw my gonads. <sighs> Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, geese, all the way back there you see some buildings. I'm guessing that's the city called Vero Beach. Vero Beach! Okay, peeps, that's enough. Too much slanting like that. It's hurting my left ankle because of the slope. And I don't want to keep pushing on the slope. If it keeps hurting, it's just not a good idea to run on the slope. I have been doing it for a long time now. I'm getting closer, but here is a little way out. There's kind of limited exits. So here's an exit. I'm going to take it. I'm happy, I really enjoyed my beach time and also I'll get out into the shade too, I'll get out the sun. Um, no hard feelings, I enjoyed myself on the beach. I've just got to keep in mind the slopey slant. It's always going to be sloping the same way because I'm always going to be running along the coast in that direction. It would make sense to turn around and go back and do the other way to balance the body out, but I'm not going back the way I came. And, oh, the sun. The sun is always on my left shoulder, hitting me here as it's rising in the east. East side. So, here's the exit. You know what, I'm so glad I did that. I'd love to run in bare feet, but here's my excuses why not. And now I did it, I'm like, that was cool. I really enjoyed that. Totally changed the game. Game changer. Well, this is kind of pretty. Hoping that there's something to rinse my feet because I've got very sandy feet. There's one a crazy cool tree. Crazy cool. And I definitely am going to be finished for the day at least for this morning because I'm starting to feel a little bit of soreness coming on and I'm telling myself let's do less and enjoy more so there's definitely no hose pipe kind of you know there's I'm looking for someone with a hose pipe actually there's definitely no shower you know officially but I see a hose pipe right there. Look, there's the end of it. Yes. Whew. That worked. <laughs> Thank you for that. Now I walk on the road. Can't run yet because my feet are too wet. And the ground is so hard. Ugh. This is like uh, lumpy, lumpy lumps. Sandpaper for my soft, wet feet. So I've got to be very careful how I walk right now. Tread carefully. Brainwave use the vibrams for what they're intended for. A spare set of shoes that can get wet or can be an alternative when my others are wet. An ultralight spare set of shoes. Ah, that's much better. Yeah, this road is really gravelly, like really lumpy. 
it's taken like chunks out of my feet. Very important I protect my tires, <laughs> especially when my tires are so soft from all the running in the sea. Um, yeah, my feet are going to be a while before they dry out, so we're just going to walk. I seem to be trapped in this kind of neighborhood now, so I'll get out to like a main road. <sighs> I really enjoyed that run on the beach. It feels like kind of gutted to be on the road again, like, oh, the road. Boring. <laughs> oh, great. I seem to be in a gated community, but, oh, I can walk around. Yeah. Huh. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy to see this. <laughs> 7-Eleven. This means some kind of sugary drink. Gatorade. I definitely, I'm <laughs> tempted by the big gulps. You know, like, it's like a slurpy, slushy thing. That's always good fun. But probably not the best kind of sugars. <laughs> and it's an opportunity to change my shoes. Okay, so here's some very expensive water. It's the same price as the Gatorades and the Powerades and all that. And I'm thinking, well, if I'm going to spend 250 I could go cheap and get those Arizona 100% natural. It's just sugar. All I really want is sugar. So whether it's Powerade, Gatorade, all that Arizona tea stuff, it's all the same. So I'm thinking... But why don't we photograph the 7-Eleven? Oh, because I'm running to California. So I was explaining to the people that what I'm going to do is instead of getting a Powerade or a Slurpee, I'm going to get one of these because it's way more fun, made with real juice. So I might get a blue one or a green one, 3% juice. I think I'll do that. The lady here is asking me why am I photographing because this is set cam. Yeah, <laughs> that's way more fun. Getting kind of hungry, so this will be a fun way to curb that hunger for now. <laughs> really, let's do it. Big gulps, huh? Hey guys! Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. All right. Yes. These little treats are the cherry on the cake of living the life. If I'm gonna spend a couple of bucks, I might as well spend it on something like a Slurpee, super cold, super icy, sugary, sweet, yummy it's more fun than just a Powerade Gatorade or a can of sugary Arizona stuff this is lovely luxury <laughs> I'm still on the island but I'm approaching the bridge then I'll get back into the mainland which is where I'll spend the day. Restaurants, maybe a library, maybe a gym. 
I've got lots of different ideas in my head for places to go, but I'll I'll eat first anyway. So. Killed it. One slurpy down, and I found the main bridge. Bridge. Okay, so I'm sweaty and stinky and I would like some kind of shower or some water or something before I go and eat and relax and go in the air conditioning. I was hoping there was a beat. It's like this is the best we've got, this water line here. So I might have to get around this big factory, come back out to the water and just splash around a bit de-gunge myself I just feel nasty right now so hopefully this water is a bit cleaner than what I am currently See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes. That was brilliant. <laughs> I didn't want to alert the guy to like, I'm running around the world. I'm running to California. I've got all my life in there. Because then I clearly identify myself as a kind of a homeless guy who's now in the pool. His question would have been, well, wait, do you live here? Because it says residence only all over that pool. So, I just want to get away. I've got my shoes off. I'm wet. I just need to get far enough away to get changed. That was brilliant. Much better idea than the, uh, the crappy lake sort of inlet. It looked dirty. There's a power station next to it. I looked over a few of the hedges and it just looks like ugh, manky water, you know, with like sludge on the bottom. So as soon as I saw the complex, these kind of complexes, you know, they have normally a pool. So immediately the little light bulb went off in my head like, uh-huh, that's my bath. I didn't make it too obvious that it was a bath. I'm just cooling down after my weighted running. Thank you, pine tree condominium. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of unnecessarily weighted running. Alligators should not be approached. I will not be approaching any alligators. 
Trust me. All right then, I changed my shorts to dry ones. I've got the wet ones in my pocket so I can hang them up somewhere. I just stopped on these stairs. I feel like that was a quiet place to change shorts, you know. Quiet little corner. Thank you for the changing rooms. <laughs> Nobody saw my gonads. Right, now it's a very short, easy walk to food and relaxation and air conditioning and I feel so much better. That, that pool dip was luxurious. I need to do that more often. And I'm gonna look up a gym around here. Anytime fitness is apparently the best one. That was suggested by Tom who explained that at night, they're open anytime, hence the name. Uh, at night, they don't really staff it particularly well. You know, the, the staff go home. And uh, it might be possible to use it as a potential campsite, sleep on a couch, or go in the yoga mat room and like happen to fall asleep on the yoga mat until 6 a.m. and then leave before anyone arrives or maybe hunker down in the toilets like in a changing room it will be a potential possible option it's good to have many options it's not always going to be available it's not always going to be on my route and it's not always going to be the best sleep on a toilet floor or something you know like uh, I might be better off camping. It's like, that's why I'm carrying all this stuff. But it's nice to have many options, many homes in many places. Home many. What a lovely load of melons. So this is Publix. The main reason I wanted to come in was to check out this. Boom. Just what I had hoped for. Seats and clothes. Oh. We've got a Publix hotspot. <laughs> I can sit in there until well, as long as I want, as long as they're open. No one's going to question me in there. Do the old supermarket lounge. So let's go to the restaurant, eat there, and then I know I've got Publix when the restaurant are kind of like, Sir, you've been here for a long time now. You know, you can only say in an all-you-can-eat restaurant so long. I don't think I can be there all day. So, that's the backup plan. And here's the buffet we've all been waiting for. Okay. So I'm literally crossing the street thinking I'm here. It's a sushi bar, grill, whatever. This guy pulls up. We have this conversation. Shall I put this in the bag? And I tell him what I'm doing running to California. And he says, well, you don't want to go in that buffet. <laughs> the food stinks. And you said there's a Golden Corral? I didn't know that. I would love to go to Golden Corral. She's going to take me to Golden Corral. Let's do this. What? What's your name? Mark. Mark? This is very, very kind of you. It's very cool. Is there a Golden Corral in this town? No. It's here, I'll show you. It's Fort Pierce. Yeah. That's where I just ran from. Well, I'm just going to run you that, down there to eat, and I can bring you back up here. I'm going to eat a lot. You are? Yeah, I'll be there for a while. But Oh, well, I'm, I can go to Home Depot then. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. This is amazing. Thank you so much. I love Golden Corral. It's the best. This is brilliant. Because Fort Pierce is 15 miles drive. No, 11. 11, all right. I thought I ran 15 miles today. I ran 11. <laughs> all right. So what are you doing with Home Depot? You've got to fix some stuff at your house? Yeah, we're roofing it. Two spots. Oh, it leaks? We, we've had nothing but rain here for the last... 
Yeah, it's rained every day. I'm not I used know. to that. I expected Florida would be more sunnier than this. <laughs> Sponsored by Golden Corral running across America. <laughs> I could stop at every Golden Corral along the way. Right. <laughs> I've been filming every step of the way from Miami. You can watch all of it. So Mark said to me, what is that in your pocket? I'm like, oh, I explained my swimming pool, shower, bath. And he's like, we'll hang them up to dry. <laughs> so we're hanging everything and we're blowing the air at it. That should help. And we've got an hour that he's going to be in the Home Depot. So that's good for me. One hour of Golden Corral is like heaven. <laughs> Unlimited. Oh, I recognize where we are. I was right here this morning. I recognize exactly where we are. Hallelujah. Da, 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 da. This is so cool. Thank you so much, Mark. I'm going to leave my clothes in your car. In my <laughs> truck. Oh, yeah. Not, not a car, a truck. It's a truck. I'll be back at 25 till 2. So I come outside. Okay, I've got a very limited time for this. One hour until Mark comes back. Very kind of him to leave me here for an hour, so I really just need to like... Go, go, go. Oh, I want a spoon. Yeah, I'm sure this is where I ran this morning. I'm glad you came back anyway. I was like, oh, I need my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, well, I'll have one less pair of shorts and I always use this shirt. I didn't believe that you thought I wasn't coming back. No, I mean, I kind of knew you would be, but I thought, worst case scenario, if you don't come back, I've lost my shirt and my shorts. <laughs> That was like what went through well, my head. Neither of them can I wear. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. To, me they're, to that? me, they're really useful. To you, they're not much use. Right. <laughs> well, this one's dry. And this is getting there. Yeah, everything's dry. Right. Okay, Mark, lovely to meet you. All right then, all is going to plan. I've been plugging and charging and using the power supply. I've just unplugged everything. Hey, that stuff is working really well, by the way. This has fixed my sore thighs. What is it they call it? Rubbing chafing. Chafy legs fixed. So, I'm feeling sleepy. I didn't get enough sleep. It's so hot out there. You can't move. I, I can't go anywhere because I'll get scorched. I can't lay out there. I, I thought I could have a nap outside. That was a stupid idea. Mosquitoes bit my legs within about 10 seconds of being out there. Uh, especially in the grass, in the trees. I just get eaten alive. Skeeters. So, because I'm feeling sleepy, I've seen a few hotels around here and I'm like, you know what? I've been just kind of saving so much money with couch surfing. Maybe I should spend some money on some comfort and a real good sleep. And a good sleep where I don't feel disturbed by the situation. I'm like, I paid for this, I'm gonna just sleep. 
and I can turn the air on and make it my own and make sure there's no mosquitoes in the room. So I don't feel like I have to explain myself. But obviously I do, because I just explained myself. So I've booked a hotel. It's one of these two-star, 50 bucks kind of things. Nothing special. This is really the reason why I booked it, is because it's 0.3 miles away. And I can just go to bed immediately. I'll be in bed in 30 minutes. I'm even thinking I should buy some stuff in the shop while I'm here. But it's so close, I'll just come back when I know what I want, when I'm hungry. I've had all that golden corral, so I'm full of food. Um, today was a big spender day. We went to the, the best buffet in town. We did the golden corral and we're going to do hotel. Scorchio! It's between 90 and 100 out here. That's American talk for somewhere above 35. <laughs> Just silly hot. So I'm going straight to bed, straight to the hotel, have a good old sleep, then edit, then figure out what's next. Home sweet home. Any room will do, as long as there's no mosquitoes and it's cooler than outside. Set can is the name. You call me? You call me here? I didn't call, no. Oh. I, I do uh, through booking.com. Oh, sleepy. Alrighty then, I feel well fresh now. Check out the trippy room key. Whoa. Whoa. So, it's a room. It ain't nothing glamorous, but it's cool. And, uh, hi. I've turned the air right down. And I've already had a shower and I'm drying my socks. Drying my socks in the cold air. Here's a little bathroom cold shower and I'm really just happy to go in my bed and charge stuff oh, and sleep and just I look around and I'm like wow there are no mosquitoes in here and there's no chance of them getting in you know like just looking around the room you realize how much of a blessing it is to be in a house <laughs> that seals shut, you know, like it has mosquito screens. That almost drove me nuts being in that boat, unable to stop the mosquitoes. And of course, I thought of it, and you might think of it why don't you get in your mosquito net inside the boat? It's so hot. It's just going to add another layer of hot. And if you don't pitch the tent properly, it just flops on you anyway. And then a floppy net is pointless. The mosquitoes will just get you through the net. So I was better off to lay there as the bait. I smothered myself in lemon. That didn't work. So I lay there like a lemony basted bait. And I just wait for them. And I hear them. And I'm like... I see it land, and I go, but I actually got really good at whacking them. I learned that if you go from too far away, then they, they fly off. So you have to get close, get close, like let them keep biting you, just move slowly, and then, but So you don't have a chance to fly off. Like, get right up close, and then, bam! Like a Bruce Lee one-inch punch. <laughs> okay, I'm done, I'm sleepy. I just really want to sleep and then I'll get back up again who knows when sometime later in the night I'll just have a nap basically is what it is have a nap then I'll feel better and I'll be able to accomplish something I haven't edited anything because I'm just too tired to deal with it so I'm like if I have a nap then I'll feel capable 
I've added to. All right. Peace out. Thank you for being part of the journey. My name's Seb. This is Cam. Boom. This is Seb Cam. Tonight, take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cam. <laughs> yeah.